the previous video, we learned how to install Backup Exec 21, how to export the encryption key, and how to create the disaster recovery ISO DVD. In this video, we'll install the agent so we can back up our server and our software can communicate with that server that we're backing up. So the first thing we want to do is create the logon account. So you go to configurations and settings, logon accounts, manage logon accounts, add, we'll add our domain admin credentials. You can create dedicated credentials if you want. But for the purposes of this demo, we'll be using these domain admin credentials. The next thing you want to do is go to backup and restore. And this section is where we add all our servers and where we manage all of our servers that we back up. So what I'm doing is a Windows computer like that we always want to check allow backup exec to establish trust with the server and we would also want to do the name of our server which is server 01 you can also do the IP address if you like so we'll select our credentials that we added before We'll select upgrade to backup exec agent for Windows to the current version automatically. And the second option I'll leave unchecked because I do not want it to restart the server if we are in production and we'll, our users will get kicked off. So let this run for a few minutes. So they're successfully communicating between each other. If you get an error in this step, most likely you're entering the credentials wrong. If it's a local admin account, you would want to enter them as the server name, backslash, administrator, or username, and then the password. And success after a few minutes, we have the agent on server 01. So you can see it, we can see it now. And what I recommend is going to server 01. And finding the backup exec agent utility and change check mark start the backup agent utility every time you log on just in case your server is restarted and you're having trouble accessing that system from the console it's because most likely this is not checked off so congratulations you've installed the agent on the server thanks for watching